So I'll be leaving the air conditioner on through today's vlog because look at that sunburn. Hello my lovely babies. Welcome back. Today's video is a vape vlog. <laughs> Look who's vaping again. For those of you that don't follow me on social media this whole last week, the videos were pre-recorded, but this whole last week I have been so sick. I had thyroiditis, which is an inflammation in your thyroid, so they took blood out of my arm, which I freaking hate. I may have piercings and tattoos. Well, I have one tattoo. But doctor needles are a completely different story, and I hate getting my blood drawn. But they drew my blood to test my thyroid for, like, imbalances. Everything was normal. The doctor said sometimes when the weather changes from hot to cold, because it's fall now, people get throat irritation. So I took, like, naproxen for a couple days and couldn't vape. I didn't vape for four days. And it was okay the first couple days, but the, like, third and fourth day, I was kind of like, can I please have my vape? And I tried to take, like, baby puffs, and it was just... <clears throat> No, not good. So finally today, Sunday, I can actually vape. I'm using my Kinger Subbox Nano in Pink. I absolutely love this thing. And even though I haven't been able to vape, I've been keeping it with me and taking it around in my purse just in case I could. And I'm pretty happy to say that it's been in my purse for a couple days and it looks like there's only one tiny little nick and that might come off with my spit. And it did. So no nicks yet. I have a lot of junk in my purse, like wallet, cell phone, keys. I have like three sets of keys and we're still good. Anyways, we got a lot of stuff for this vape vlog, so let's get through it because these are a bitch to edit. All right, so we'll start out with some shout outs because I know you guys love to hear those. I love hearing them. They're, they're inspirational and like, oh, somebody messaged me on Twitter. My iPad is going to be like over here because, because my life is never prepared and I'm <laughs> needing to charge it. So. First shout out goes to Jordan, and this was on the 21st of September, so not too late. I'm catching up on these shout outs. Today makes 30 days sig free, all thanks to vaping and channels like yours. Woohoo! Congratulations, Jordan, on your first month smoke free. Everybody give a vape for Jordan and a round of applause. I know you can't hear the round of applause, but. <laughs> love it, love it. Deanne Cross says, Love the red lips. Hey, Tia, I've been smoke free for over six months. Woohoo! Thanks to the vape fam. That is awesome six months that's half a year oh my gosh just another six months and you'll be at a year can you believe it a year can you even fathom that i couldn't kristen smith says hi to you you are so awesome and so pretty oh thank you i'm five months smoke free after five years woo woo that's kind of like me i smoked for about five years i found out last september 10th that i had ovarian cancer and i've had a total hysterectomy at 23 years old your comment cuts off there but oh my god holy crap like I'm so glad you're okay. I'm 23 and I can't even think about that. That's like giving me anxiety. Holy crap. I'm glad that you're okay. I mean, having a hysterectomy is, that's, that's so sad. I'm so sorry, but I'm so glad that you're smoke free and cancer free. Melissa M says, Hi Tia, love watching your videos. I'm smoke free for about six months thanks to vaping. I love watching your reviews along with indoor smokers and many other vape reviews on YouTube. Woohoo, yes, I love it. And I watch like pretty much every other vape reviewer out there too as well. So it's so awesome that you were able to quit with the help of all of our videos. TJ Center said, I started vaping September 13th but went back to the stinkies April 2014. And now I'm back to vaping again. Nine days off the SIGs and I feel so much better. Woo, congratulations TJ and this was on the sixth so you're you know I hope you're still you're still smoke free let me know down in the comments below and it's okay to have a relapse I'm just glad you were able to come back to the vape side Carol Handmans says you are the bestest Tia thanks two months off stinkies woohoo I stick 30 watt with Nautilus mini after a 25 year smoking habit and your videos keep me going thinking about purple purple kanger for an upgrade <gasps> do it do it. Mine's pink, but the purple one, do it. So I gotta tell you guys about my crazy freaking yard sale experience this morning. And that's why I have this sunburn. Ooh, you can't really tell on my face. Well, maybe you can, but I'm wearing makeup. But look at it. That hurts so bad. 
oh it's gonna hurt in the morning but anyway so I've been helping I helped my grandma with a yard sale like all this morning and even into just right before I started filming this because she has a lot of stuff to give away and first of all she was getting rid of all of her VHS's and DVDs because all of us grandkids are grown up now and nobody you know comes over and watches those anymore so she was um, selling them in the yard sale and I was like really you're gonna get rid of my childhood so I had to snag me up some of these oh, Bambi Lady in the Tramp I was like I'll take these DVDs grandma these are my my life when I was little and my children when I have them would love them and yeah these are just the few that I have to show you guys but I have like a stack of them that literally made my day but anyway so we're sitting there me mom my mom and my grandma you know just waiting for people looking around and waiting for people to come up and ask how much whatever and there's this like crazy talking to himself guy and he looked like he could have been a drug addict or off his meds or something but his face was like all scratched up and his lips were all like really messed up and he was wasn't wearing any shoes he had one sock on and he was riding around like a hella expensive bike and so we were like oh gosh because he comes up to our yard sale talking to himself and we're like that's a little weird but you know don't judge some people do that I mean I talk to myself just not that much and so he buys he grabs a pair of girls flip-flops and asks you know he grabs them and he starts walking away and he's like don't worry I'm not stealing these I'm just gonna try them on so but he like goes around the corner to try them on and then he comes back and he's wearing them and his toes are painted blue I just noticed that and he asks how much for the flip-flops and I said one dollar and then he just goes off like I don't even I can't even tell you what he was saying because he was just saying so much at once that I had no idea and then he was like, I was like, just take them, just for free, have them, just leave, please leave us alone. And then he told me and my mom that we should have concealed weapons permits for being so gorgeous. And I was like, I do. And then I was like, and then he's like, oh, <laughs> well, dude, you're the one that brought it up. If you're going to bring up the fact that I should have a gun on me, how about the fact that I do have a gun on me? Like, how do you like that? And so that started a whole nother thing. And he just wouldn't leave and we're like, just go please or we will call the cops and lo and behold like an hour later two sheriff cars go by and they stop here and they're like did you see this guy and I was like yeah I saw that guy he was really creeping us out and saying some pretty creepy things and like scaring off all the customers and like trying to talk to the other people that were at our yard sale and apparently that really nice bike that he was riding was stolen so they were looking for him that morning and so you know I told him which way he went but we had seen him like an hour ago and that was pretty scary and I get really defensive because the yard sale is at my grandma's house and I'm really really protective of my grandma like probably to an extreme but I don't apologize for that I fucking love my grandma and the fact that this all went down at her house was really unnerving because I would hate for that guy to come back and harass her like I wasn't there and so I didn't even want to leave my grandma's house I was like I want to make sure this guy is like in the drunk tank or wherever he needs to be because he was off his rocker but I was like my heart was like pounding and I was like shaking because as soon as he brought up the fact that we should have guns on us I was like I will walk two feet behind me and grab the gun from underneath my sweater if you want me to. Like, don't fucking play. So that's why I'm frazzled and summer as hell. More shout outs. Oh, this is going to Miss Diego. I hope I'm saying your name right. Now the comment says like, great blog, vape queen, um, but it's from another Tia. Oh my god. I've met three Tias in real life my whole life. I met a Tia when I was like in first grade on a train and then I met a Tia um, when I was like in elementary school and it was my friend's grandma and then I met another Tia after high school and she was I just met her at a party and she was like you know she lives in that town like 30 minutes away from me so I've met three Tias in my life briefly and now I know another one and all this time that I've been on YouTube I've never noticed anybody with the same name as me but this Tia Diego and we talk a lot on Twitter now I was like I love it like we have the same name because Tia is not a common name I don't think at least or white bitches like me because it means aunt in Spanish and I think it also means something in Hawaiian and so to find another Tia that's watching my videos that's freaking awesome this vape is for all the Tias out there cloud bitch Chris goes meow <laughs> says hey Tia love your videos I was a smoker for four years been sick free since June 12 vaping on the i 50 watt with the Maganus DVC tank. Woohoo! Congratulations on being smoke free June, July, August, September. So, like, 
in a little bit you'll be like four months smoke free hopefully let me know how you're doing in the comments below april casserly says hey tia i love your videos i love you and your videos can i please get a shout out well here you go i quit smoking cold turkey on november 4th 2014 and went straight to vaping and i'm still vaping strong addicted to fruity pebbles Ooh, that's a good flavor and i believe um i've shouted you out before but if i haven't you're getting one now but um I literally just wrote back to you, this brings up another good point, or the, this brings up another point that I wanted to talk about also. I, a long time ago, had had the bright idea to do pen pals and have people write their write letters to me of their vaping journey if they felt like writing to me, because emailing is impersonal. Handwriting, it's a lost art. Writing letters, it's a lost art, and so I asked you guys to do that, and I was really excited to write back and everything, and I'm still going to. I know there's a few people that haven't gotten letters back from me. It's just that right around that time that everyone was sending them is when my grandpa passed away and that really kind of wrecked my whole life for a while. And I mean, I'm still freaking not over it. And um, so I just, I just wanted to let you guys know that I will, I still have the letters on a stack on my desk, the ones that I haven't written back to, and I will get back to you, and I'm starting to do that now, it's just that, at that time, you know, I, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't, I had so much other things going on inside me that I didn't make time to do that, and I'm sorry for those of you who wrote to me and haven't gotten anything back, but I promise I will be writing back to you, and um, April, congratulations on being smoke-free, and yeah, I, I already finished writing your letter, so I'm going to send it out sometime next week hopefully along with a few others Amy Detheridge says you are so good at these videos thank you for making them I'm a beginner vapor and I have the halo Triton probably me and the Aspire and it's my fault that you would have called it the halo unless you actually have the halo maybe you do because there is a halo Triton but there's also an Aspire Triton and then you ask if any good ideas on a good vape to switch to well if you are using the halo Triton I would suggest something like a starter kit like with a bigger battery and uh, variable wattage. Definitely you want adjustable airflow. I know that if you're using the Halo Triton, that's kind of an older style uh, setup. So definitely, I would definitely recommend the Kanger K boxes or the Cool Fire 4 by Inakin. Anything Inakin, anything Kanger, Joytech, Aspire. Those are the four like top in my eyes. Soul Reap 89 says, almost five months off the six. Quit straight away using an e-cig, then months later onto the Kanger tech and then onto the smoke 80 mx pro and then the billow v2 rta and mutant x4 rda wow well you went straight from beginner to advanced like what are you still doing on this channel we don't build here no i'm just kidding anyone is welcome here but congratulations on being smoke free and advancing hella quick more advanced than me vapor dapes <laughs> what vapor daps hey tia smoke free now for two and a half months Woo hoo! love vaping went from 12 milligrams to 1.5 milligrams and on my way to zero. Woohoo! I kinda wanna try zero. Doug Grumps says, three weeks cancer stick free. Boop boop! Yes, three weeks, you're so new. Let's have a vape, this is for you. I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I got in the mail, like little sneak peeks, um, vaping related and non-vaping related. First off, this, which I'm kind of like, eh, but um, Raw Spice Bar. Have you ever heard of it? Comment below. They got a hold of me and was like, do you want to try some of our stuff? So there's Baltimore Bay Spices, Power Spice Blend, Vert Pickling Spice, and I thought it was really cool. I like making things from scratch, like, you know, like my taco seasoning. I make that from scratch. I don't just go buy a pack of taco seasoning. And so I'm really excited. Let's see. Black peppercorn yellow mustard seeds, coriander seeds, dill seeds, allspice berries, red pepper flakes, and bay leaves. Ooh, these are nice. And so I'm really excited to try these, and I'll link below to Raw Spice Bar if you guys want to check them out. But um, for a company who wanted to send me their stuff and show it on my channel to get advertisement, obviously this is what they're doing. They're not, <laughs> they're not watching my videos and loving what I do. They're like, hey, I see you have a big audience. Want to look at our stuff, which is fine. I mean, I don't care. But... I had to pay for the postage and usually if a company sends me something and I have to pay for the postage I just say send it back because I'm not gonna pay for your product and show it on my channel where you're gonna get a whole bunch of free advertising 
if you make me pay for it that's kind of tacky and but I was really interested in this and so I did pay the postage and it was under a dollar which isn't a big deal but the fact is if you want your product shown on my channel you don't make me pay for it so that was that okay we'll do some vaping related things now to hold your attention because I'm I have some more non vaping related things that I wanted to show you that I'm really excited for let's see so ooh, okay so you guys know if you watch my channel a while ago a long time ago like a couple months ago and I probably I don't even use the product anymore because new stuff comes out all the time and it's hard to even keep up but I got these and I was really excited because I really loved the first products that they sent to me the e-power company the company that makes e-power which is Katie or Caddy I'm not I'm not sure how you pronounce it but I'll put a link below to their official website for their products sent me the e-power x2 what you guys if you watch my channel you know that I literally fell in love with the e-power three I believe it was and it, it was the device that made me put down my MVP of, of all things you know my MVP I love my MVP but I love the e-power more than that but then there the next version of that wasn't too impressive and then the next version of the MVP was way more impressive so I went with that but this oh wait oh it's temperature control cool Hopefully it has regular, okay, it does have regular wattage mode. That's awesome. And then this one, which looks slightly different, and I don't even know what the difference is yet, but this is the K Vapor M7, and it is also temperature control. And these are both from the same company. I know the E-Powers, I don't know the K Vapor. I've never looked at a product like that. And honestly, they look a lot alike. So I'm wondering what the difference is. I know this one goes to 70 watts because it says it right there. This one, is this one just temperature control? We'll have to see. But I thought I'd show you guys these because if you follow my channel, you knew that I absolutely loved their first products. These are obviously newer upgrades of whatever they had back then. And so I'm hoping that they do not disappoint. And then this. This needs no explanation. And usually I don't make videos for one flavor, but I'm really thinking that this needs its own video because this is the second installment, The Milkman, which ooh, it's one of my top three still. It's right there. Oh, there it is, right there, up there. And this is called Churros. And it is freaking churros in icy cold milk, apparently. And I, I'm just a sucker for the packaging. You know, I'm like that. That's the type of person I am. You may not be, and that's just fine. But I love churros in real life. And this smells super delicious, but it also smells super cinnamony. So either we can try it now, or we can make a whole video for it. And I kind of just want to make a whole video for it because... <sighs> I have really high expectations, but I'm so excited. Oh, it smells good. You wanna see the bottle? It actually came in a little baggie too. The bottle has that on it, the Tiffany. I mean, come on, that color, this is a color for dye for, but I know it's totally, this color is totally like in right now for mods and devices, so it's a good, so it's a really good idea that they made the packaging this color because just the color alone attracts people, at least people like me. I had more stuff from the mail that I want to show you, but I feel like I've been talking too long about stuff that I got, so I'd like to give some more shout outs so people aren't like, Tia, you're just talking about stuff you have and we don't care. Carla, two, 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 one, one, three, one, one, what, 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 says, hi Tia, love your videos. Husband and I have been sick free for seven months. Well done with the weight loss, you're looking great. Oh, thank you guys, and I feel great, and I bet you do too. Seven months, that's over. You're closer to a year than you are to just beginnings. So I really hope you make it to a year. What are you guys both vaping on? Let me know down in the comments below what got you off the stinkies. Anna Marie Rendell, I think I've given you a shout out before, but if, if not, share it on Google Plus, love your channel, girl. Oh, you guys, I almost forgot. Like, I have to announce a winner of a giveaway, so I need to go look at those comments. Anyways. Anna Marie is 72 days and 12 hours since your last cigarette recording on my app. That's awesome. Congratulations. 72 days. What is that equal to like three and a half months? Congratulations. I think I'm getting better. Michelle Graham says, I am now three weeks and one day stinky free. I was a two pack a day smoker for 13 years and you, Tia, are my inspiration. Oh, thank you. And congratulations for being smoke free for three weeks and one day, but that was a few days ago. So you're probably like a month. You're probably at a month now. Woohoo! Congratulations, Michelle, on joining the vape fam. Okay, so before I forget, I better just go over there and, um, oh, stop it, iPad. 
pick a winner from the last vape vlog. I forgot at the end of the video I did a secret giveaway and I almost forgot about my own secret giveaway. So let's do that. We'll go to that video and we will randomly pick a winner. Now remember, if you are the winner, you have to be able to prove to me that you are 18, whether that be by sending me a photo of yourself and your ID so I can see that your face and your age and everything, or we can Skype, we can Google Hangout, we can do something, but as long as you can prove you're 18, then you can win the e-liquid. If you can't prove you're 18, or you are over 18 and you don't have an ID, I'm sorry. It's not gonna happen, so go to a different giveaway. Sorry, my channel, my rules. Ooh, there's a lot of comments on this. Okay, so I'm just going to load all the comments and randomly pick a winner. So I hope you're watching because this is, I mean like if you're the winner, because this is the only place that I will announce winners. All of the comments are loaded, so I'm just going to randomly shuffle them, close my eyes, and pick one. That's my favorite way to do it, I'll just close my eyes. That way I'm not, people aren't thinking like, oh, you picked him because he's hot, or you picked her because she's cute. No, I'm close my eyes. But then that also makes it harder. So. <laughs> Homer Hernandez is the winner. Congratulations, Homer. Do you watch The Simpsons? I love The Simpsons. And if you're watching Homer Hernandez, so I'm gonna send you a message to your YouTube account and just get back to me and we can figure out how you are going to prove you're 18 and then we'll get your prize mailed out. Congratulations. And for all of you guys that didn't win any e-liquid today, please stay tuned because I can't give this e-liquid away fast enough. I get so much that it would be wrong if I just hoarded it all and tried to vape it all to myself because I can't because I have like five flavors that I really, really like that I buy over and over again and I just pretty much give away everything else that isn't like super freaking fantastic. Okay, I couldn't help myself because I'm like addicted, but I ordered another Hello Kitty. This one is the Pink Shimmer Hello Kitty. Oh, she's so cute. Uh, but I ordered two at the time and I got this one with it. Now, I was really happy to get this one, but um, I already have this one and this is not the one I ordered. It is not and I'm very upset. I actually emailed them to see like what the heck was going on and if I could send this one back and get the right one or just send this back and get my money back because this is not what I ordered. So hopefully they can come through with that. TY, if anybody from TY is watching, I need help. But I was so excited and so disappointed to get these at the same time because I actually got them a day early, which was actually Friday, which was the day I was supposed to get my new iPhone, rose gold, but they didn't even have them in the store. They never even got the one that I wanted because I want the 6S Plus in rose gold, 128 gigabytes, and they didn't even have that one. So I had been counting down the days, you guys know this, I said it in my videos, I've been counting down the days to get my new iPhone, and I couldn't get it, and that sucks, and then I was told that I'll have to wait till like the end of October, so okay, I'll have to wait. Then I go home and check my mailbox, and I got the kitties a day early, and I was so excited, and then I find out that I got the wrong one. Okay, I'll show you one more thing I got in the mail, and then I'll go ahead and try an e-liquid that I got sent. I got sent one flavor, and I like to do that within the vape vlogs instead of make a whole video for one flavor because it's kind of impossible, unless it's a special flavor hint hint like the one I just showed, the Cheerios. That is getting its own video. It deserves its own video. So when I got this box, I read where it was from, and I was like, holy crap, yay, they must have saw my video. And so I was super excited. This is a box from Rasta Vapors. Now I just did their review like, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago and fell in love with one of their flavors. I mean, all the flavors were good. I really, I, you know, round of applause to all the flavors, but one flavor in particular was so freaking sweet and delicious because I love super sweet e-liquids, like sickly sweet e-liquids I like. And it's called Rusty Nails. It's the best marshmallow slash butterscotch slash vanilla vape that I've ever tried. Ooh, sorry, camera difficulties. Thanks a lot, camera. Oh yeah, okay, Rusty Nails. Ooh, so good. And so that I saw that this huge box was from Rasta Vapors and I was like, oh my God. So let's see what they sent me. They sent me bubble wrap. Just kidding. Ooh, ooh, guys. Okay, either I can be a hoarder and a greedy hog about it, or we could probably do a giveaway. If these are all the same, we might do a giveaway. <laughs> but they sent me bigger bottles. Bam, OMG. Three 30 milliliter bottles of Rusty Nails. Oh my God. Vanilla, marshmallow, butterscotch, custard. So freaking good. I can just smell them. The oh, I almost dropped the box. There's more stuff there that I wanna show you guys. 
So since they all are the same and it would be really, really greedy of me if I kept all of these, I think I'll do a giveaway for one bottle for now because I'm sure I'm gonna need these. But I don't wanna do it here because I just did a e-liquid giveaway here last week. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do this over on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. So if you're not following me there, you might wanna go follow me there. I'll put all the links below. And if you just wanna go now and check out um, Rasta Vapors e-liquid, I'll put a link below to their website. The Rusty Nails flavor is really good. I also liked the Joe Latte flavor. That was freaking good for a coffee flavor. Um, that one's gone. But this is definitely my favorite flavor from their line I don't even know if I tried their whole line or not but oh, it smells like butterscotch candy and marshmallows in a bottle so yeah if you want to win one for yourself you have to follow me on social media or just go check their website for yourself because they weren't actually selling this line on their website when I reviewed it and I was like oh crap like this is an amazing e-liquid and you guys aren't gonna be able to try it because it's only um, for brick and mortar but Upon that review, I guess they got so many requests for it that they added it to their website. So you can actually go check it out now if you didn't already know that. And then they sent me some goodies. Let's see, it looks like I got a poster and ooh, some bait bands. Awesome, and some nice stickers, which will also go in the giveaway because I already got stickers last time and I put them on my sticker board and my sticker board is like almost done so I'm really excited to show you guys. And they sent me four of these vape bands in black and white. It says Rasta Vapors Premium E-Liquid. So I guess I'll throw one or two into the E-Liquid giveaway for whoever wins that because there's no reason I need to be greedy and keep four. Again, you know, I like when companies send me multiple things because then I, you know, I get my pick. But then I can also give back to you guys, especially if it's something that I really like and I really want you to try. Oh, cool. Oh, they sent me two. I love it. This looks exactly like their um their labels. I love it. I'm in the journey. I'm like looking in my camera at my background. I'm gonna stick it right here. Woo! Okay. So also another thing before I forget, I went over to Sample Box. A lot of you probably know for a vape cruise a while ago, and they did this um, interview of why I vape, and my video is up about why I vape. So I will link below to Sample Box's YouTube channel where you can go and watch that if you feel like it. I had a really awesome time over there thanks to Sample Box, and I was super super nervous during this little interview video. So please forgive me if I seem really like shaky and nervous because I'm not used to talking in front of a camera with other people watching me so like it was like nerve-wracking but it was really fun and really cool and they're also doing like a giveaway I believe for like a Kanger sub box mini and a free sample box um, over there so go and check that out if you're interested I'll link below to everything I talk about pretty much so next we are going to try an e-liquid oh um Really quickly, somebody out there with the knowledge, because I do not shop from eBay regardless, but I guess Jamie from Twitter brought this to my attention. eBay is not no longer allowing anything vape on the website. Is that true? I would really like to hear more about that and like why they're not letting people sell vapes from there. Because I know a lot of people had uh, their own like vape stores on eBay, so that's kind of crappy. Like down with ebay boycott ebay seriously hashtag boycott ebay if they're not selling if they're not allowing vape stuff anymore because that's kind of ridiculous so this e-liquid that i want to try is called liquid effects and this is called coastal butter but it literally smells like a um coconut macaroon you know those that's exactly what it smells like and if it tastes like that that would be awesome because i actually don't like coconut macaroons in real life because i don't like the texture of coconut but if I can vape it, that'd be awesome. So it smells really, really good. That's definitely what I think it is. 100% I'm getting like that shortbread cookie taste, coconut. I could be wrong though, but it literally tastes like those like Franz cookies. It's good. Made in SoCal. That's what it says. SoCal guys, but it's freaking delicious. I'll link below if this sounds like something. If you like those coconut macaroons, this is literally a spot on vape of that. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but that's what I'm getting from it. And it's so much like that flavor that I'll, maybe I'll put an annotation here if I'm super wrong, but <laughs> that's what it tastes like. And it's freaking good. This is like an after dinner vape. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my God. I never did my e-liquid of the week. I usually start my vapes out, my vape vlogs out like this. Um, dang, my e-liquid of the week would definitely go to Carnage. 
it's really good and I actually don't have it in this room with me because I've been vaping it so it's actually out in my desk out in the other room but it literally to me it tastes like Swedish fish now it's supposed to be red vines I think that's what it's supposed to be but it literally tastes like a red Swedish fish and it's so good so that would definitely be my e-liquid of the week and my e-liquid of the week is the e-liquid that I like the most out of the week of reviews that I did because I usually review like three e-liquid lines in one week if I'm on a good week and that definitely takes the cake but I also did vape chemist and they have really clean fruity flavors and I only tried a couple of their flavors I really like the mango one but if I had to pick one I, I'm like if I had to pick one hold up a two I would definitely pick carnage Where's that? I wish I had this in my tank right now. This, like, now I gotta vape on my 510 drip atomizer because this is so good. <laughs> we'll do some more shout outs and then I don't know what we're gonna do after that. It's a mystery to both of us. Pat Apperson says, We are smoke free for three months. Thank you for all you do. We love your channel. So glad you are being healthy and just totally awesome. Oh, thank you, Pat. Who's we? You and your wife, you and your cousin. Let me know and let me know what you guys are vaping on. Three months smoke free. That's awesome. Carmen Castellanos, been vaping since 2011. Holy crap. I was a two pack a day smoker for 15 years. Used to only vape tobacco, but it seems my favorite preferences have shifted towards sweeter things. Me too. I tried tobacco. I never actually liked tobacco vapes. I did kind of like if I was going out to drink that night, tobacco vapes are definitely the way to go for me at least, but I got sick of those so quick and now when I taste the tobacco vape, it's just like ugh. I do not like it. Well, congratulations to you, Carmen, for being vaping since 2011. So 2012, 13, 14, 15, that's four years. That's longer than me. That's incredible. Oh my God. I have no more shout outs. How is that possible? So, yeah. oh my God, no more shout outs? I went through all of them? That doesn't seem possible. I get so many. So, if you want a shout out in next week's vape vlog, please comment below. I can give shout outs and continue to inspire people through your guys's, you know, vaping journeys and vaping success because I don't have any more. Oh my God, I never thought I'd run out. I had so many, but my iPad did kind of like mess up or maybe YouTube's emailing system was messing up because I wasn't getting a lot of the comments for a while, like for days, I wasn't getting any comments sent to my email and I get every single comment gets sent to my email so I can shift through and pick which ones I want to do for the uh, vape blog shout outs that I was just doing and I'm out now. I'm out. That's scary. I need more inspiration from you guys. I mean, I need it, but you need it because I feel like giving these shout outs about people's being smoke free for however long, I feel like that really helps other people so I need more of those so comment down below I'll even give you a second shout out as long as you're smoke free oh okay I got something else I could talk about that I wrote down here sub ohm cell battery it's a new sub ohm battery and I think it's like a 30 amp I'm not exactly sure the specifics of it but it, I see it everywhere on Instagram so if you have tried the sub ohm cell battery let me know because I'm thinking about buying like a shit ton of those because they look like um they look like Duracell batteries. They have like the same like tan and then black and I just thought it looked really cool and everyone seems to be using them, especially on Instagram. So let me know in the comments below because I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take the plunge and buy like 15 of them. Because <laughs> I need a lot of batteries, I have a lot of devices, and I'm literally just using this one in all of them. This one, look at here. This is literally like I have two of these, but I only usually need one, and I've been <laughs> using that one for oh okay so you saw that red sticker that was for the kanger sub box mini because it's black and red that i got and my king my pink edition for my nano i didn't have i didn't see the pink stickers and everyone was like tia you're a dumbass look in your booklet so here we go moment of truth and um i don't know why i never do this oh my god you guys were right there they are to make the battery pink. I'm such an idiot. I just look a little harder sometimes. Story of my life. So I'm gonna take this pink strip and I'm gonna put it on the other side of the same battery. Boom, we have pink. And it doesn't even look that different to me at least. I mean, here it looks different, but like here it doesn't look different, if you understand. I'm out of things to talk about. I'm out of shout outs. I mean, actually, I could probably talk for a lot longer, but I don't want to sit here and just, like, babble on. I can't believe I don't 
can't believe I don't have any more shout outs. That's crazy. Ooh, some exciting news. I'm actually going to have a friend come up and probably, hopefully they'll do an actual video with me, but they are going to set me up with the RDAs because I got some coils sent from the lovely guys at 510 Vaping and they're going to help me set them up in some of the RDAs with some of my mech mods that I have had for a long time and I'm going to give RDAs a try. I'm not going to be building myself. I'm too lazy for that. But I'm definitely going to try vaping on them and might just switch out, you know, my juice review equipment for an RDA because so many people are like, RDAs have way better flavor. So I am going to give it a try. So all you RDA people out there probably should be pretty happy about that, that I'm actually finally like, okay, I'll do it since you guys made the coils for me and I don't have to do that hard, crazy part. Thank you so much. But my channel is still mainly going to be for the beginners and like the newer um, regulated mods and things like that. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to the channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter at Tia Vapes. I also have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Tia Reviews. If you don't get enough of me here, I do have a second vlog channel here on YouTube where I like to upload whatever I want. It's always different there. So if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Casada.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys. And to the guy who commented and said I need to make my outro speech a little shorter, fuck you. I do what I want. If you don't like what I do on this channel, unsubscribe.